हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक एंड यू आर वाचिंग डीएमजी केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेंद्र गुलेरिया एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन थर्मोडाइनमिक बेसिस एंड थियोरेटिकल प्रूफ ऑफ हैस लॉ सो फ्रेंड्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हैस लॉ एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस लॉ द टोटल हीट इवॉल्व और एब्जॉर्ब ड्यूरिंग ए केमिकल रिएक्शन इज सेम doesn't matter that whether that reaction occurs in single step or in number of steps in other words we can say that the heat evolved or absorbed during a chemical reaction depends upon the nature of initial reactants and the nature of final products and it does not depends upon uh, de- depend upon the path or the manner by which that reaction has been brought about understood so now we will discuss the thermodynamic explanation uh, explanation of this law so to discuss it let us consider a general reaction that a is uh, being converted into d so our reactants are a and d is our products okay and this is a single step reaction and the total heat evolved or absorbed during this reaction will be equal to the enthalpy of products minus the enthalpy of reactants and enthalpy of products is hd uh, minus enthalpy of the reactant is ha okay and it is equal to delta h and this much uh, amount of heat will be absorbed or evolved during this chemical reaction now let us suppose that the same reaction is taking place in three steps this means that a is first converted into b then b to c and finally the c is converted into d and the total heat evolved or absorbed in this case also will be equal to hd minus ha that is equal to delta h okay so the amount of heat evolved or absorbed is same that is whether the reaction is uh, taking place in single step or it is occurring in three steps why it is so this is because the enthalpy the enthalpy or the heat content is a state function so enthalpy change during a chemical reaction depends upon the nature of initial reactants and the final products and it does not depend upon the path or the mechanism or the manner by which that reaction has been carried out understood because the enthalpy or the change in enthalpy is a state function so in uh, both of these reactions the initial reactants are same and the final products are again same okay so that's why the change in enthalpy or the heat evolved or absorbed will be same but the mechanism is different or the path is different because uh, this reaction is taking place in single step and here the same reaction is ta- is taking place in three steps but as i said that enthalpy is a state function it does not depend upon the path or the number of steps depends upon the initial reactant and the final product uh, which are same in both the cases so this is how we can explain uh, the hess law on the basis of thermodynamics understood now we will discuss the theoretical proof of this law on the basis of uh, law of conservation of energy or the first law of thermodynamics so let us discuss the theoretical proof okay and to discuss the theoretical proof of this law on the basis of first law of thermodynamics we will consider the same reaction again that is a is being converted into d and it is single step reaction and as i said that heat evolved or absorbed during this reaction uh, will be equal to hp minus hr or hd minus ha this is equal to delta h and here i am supposing that during this reaction heat is evolved and uh, this uh, heat evolved is equal to q joules okay and now as i said earlier the same reaction is taking place in three steps uh, and these are the three steps and let this uh, q1 is the amount of heat evolved uh, in the first step and q2 is the amount of heat evolved in second step and q3 is the heat evolved in the third step 
then the total heat evolved will be equal to uh, total heat evolved will be equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 and let us suppose that it is equal to q prime joules so it is equal to q prime joules joules okay then according to Hess law then according to Hess law Q should be equal to Q prime because the heat evolved or absorbed remains the same whether that reaction takes place in single step or in many steps understood and we can also represent uh, uh, these two reactions diagrammatically so let us suppose that this is the path one here we have a okay and a is being converted into d a is being converted into d in a single step and heat evolved during this reaction is equal to q joules and here i want to tell you that uh, if uh, while converting A into D, Q amount of heat is evolved, then when we will come back from D to A, then the same amount will be, uh, same amount of heat will be absorbed. Q joule uh, heat will be absorbed when we will come back from D to A. Understood. So here, and now we will convert A into D in three steps. First of all, A will go to B then B will go to C and finally the C will go to D understood and as I said that amount of heat evolved here Q1 Q2 and Q3 and the total heat evolved when we will go from A to D will equal Q prime okay and according to Hess law and if Hess law is followed then Q should be equal to Q prime, uh, Q prime. So, if the Hess law were not correct, if the Hess law were not correct, agar Hess law correct nahi hota, to kya hota? Okay, then either Q prime will be greater than Q or Q prime will be less than Q understood so let us suppose so let us suppose that Q prime is greater than Q okay now this means that when we will convert A to D by following this path this is multi-step path then the Q prime heat will be evolved okay and and when when we will come back from D to A okay then how much heat will be absorbed Q understood this means that when we are going from A to D the heat evolved is Q prime and which is more which is more than the Q which is the heat absorbed when we are coming back, uh, coming back from D to A. Understood? This means that the heat evolved is more okay, and the heat absorbed when we are coming back from D to A is less. Okay? Then what does it mean? It means that Q prime minus Q heat amount of heat or energy will be created will be created uh, during the cycle when we are going from A to D and coming back, back from D to A let us understand uh, uh, this concept with the help of some values suppose that Q prime is equal to 40 kilojoule understood 
This means that while I am going from A to D following this multi-step path, then the heat evolved. Heat evolved is equal to 40 kilojoule. And let us suppose that when we are coming back from D to A, then how much heat is absorbed? Let Q is equal to 30 kilojoule. Okay. So when we are going from A to D, heat evolved is 40, which is more than the heat ab uh, absorbed which is equal to 30. So here, how much heat is created or how much heat is left with us? Okay. The amount of heat or amount of heat or amount of heat or energy created will be equal to Q prime minus Q as I said and it will be equal to 40 minus 30 equal to 10 kilojoule uh, 10 kilojoule understood this means that when I will repeat this cycle I will go from A to D following this path and coming back from D to A by following this path then in every cycle how much heat will be created or how much energy will be created 10 kilojoule understood so this is against the first law of thermodynamics or the first uh, sorry uh, against the law of conservation of energy because energy cannot be created okay so this cannot be correct that is q prime cannot be greater than q or q prime cannot be less than q then then what then q will be equal to q prime understood so hence the Hess law is correct that is the total amount of heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reaction the is same whether the reaction is occurring place uh, sorry taking place in single step or in multi steps understood or we can say that is the total heat change depends upon the nature of initial reactant and the final products and it is independent of the path or the manner by which that change or the reaction is being carried out okay so this is all about this th uh, thermodynamic basis and the theoretical proof of Hess law and in my coming videos I am going to discuss the various applications of Hess law so please keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much